Hello guys, welcome to the second tutorial in which we are learning about the MSP430 G2 Launchpad from the Texas Instrument and how to program it with the Energia IDE. In our previous tutorial, we learned, uh, a, we had a basic intro about this board and we also learned how to use the Energia IDE to upload a sample blink program to our Launchpad. In this second tutorial, we will learn how to use the input and output pins on our MSP board and control an LEDs, control few LEDs based upon an input from switch. So at the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to handle digital inputs and digital outputs so you can uh, start using some basic digital sensors like a PAR sensor and some basic digital outputs like LEDs, buzzers, even a motor. So let's get started. But before we get started, uh, I would like to mention that this video will just show a demonstration of the working. If you want to know completely about the code, the circuit diagram, how it works, each and every explanation of the program, then you should head over to the link that can be found at the description of this video where all the details can be found. So now let's go and see how this uh, tutorial is working. So what I have done is I have used two buttons here, these two push buttons, which are acting as an input and we have eight LEDs which are acting as outputs. So all the buttons and the LEDs are connected to the MSB board through this female to female wires and this red color wire is actually the ground. So the ground is connected and these two are the connection for switches and these are the connections for the eight LEDs. So as soon as I press one button you will notice that the LEDs would start blinking in a sequence that is from one end to the other end and when I press the other button the sequence would just get reversed that is if it starts from here it would start from there when I press the other button so let me go ahead and press the button so as you can see as soon as I press the button this LED started to glow and the sequence gets incremented like this so when I press the other button you can notice that the sequence has changed now so instead of incrementing from here to here it's incrementing from here to here when i release it it will start incrementing from here to here again so this is just a sample video to help us understand uh, how the input and output works actually if you do the program on your own it will be a bit more interesting and once you get to this stage you can fiddle around with the program and uh, try all your favorite sequence like you can make these LEDs to blink in alternate sequence increase the delay decrease the delay play with it you can increment the delay uh, you can increment the LEDs only if a button is pressed you can fiddle around all those stuff so that you get to learn more about the inputs and outputs you can also notice that this LED here is blinking uh, you can if you could concentrate closely you can see that whenever this LED goes high this LED also goes high this is because we are using the same pin and this is connected through hardware you can remove the connection to this LED by removing this jumper pin this is totally optional but it would be very useful for example when you are actually controlling a load you don't want this LED to also be controlled the same way so you can use this jumper wire to disconnect the connection from the board so that's it guys uh, we'll meet in the next tutorial thank you